Greetings, I'm Robert. I want to show you how to poach an egg. I'm here with my wife who's filming. Uh, she's the one who taught me because I used to burn water and now I can poach an egg. So let's get to it. First step, mise en place or everything in its place. You want to have all the stuff necessary to prepare, which is an egg, preferably a little container. You'll see why later. A little bit of the clear-ish sort of vinegar. A slotted spoon if you have it, though a, any large enough spoon to hold an egg is fine. And about four cups of boiling water. So, first, the vinegar. This is an important step because it will help coagulate the whites of the egg. Kind of stiffen it up. It's an important step. Next, cracking an egg. Let's see if I can do this in one take. So you want to use your thumbs to apply pressure here to crack it open like that. Next step is to stir this to make a little tornado. This motion will help you. You'll see here in a moment. want to dip this in gently and you can see already the vinegar is helping to turn those white like to firm up those whites and this is going to be very useful you don't need to play with it too much this is essentially it uh, the only next step after this is uh, after about a minute or two you want to maybe pick it up and touch it to see what sort of firmness you would like. So yeah, you can see it bubbling up and see that its texture sort of uh, forming. It's a good idea to have possibly salt, possibly pepper on standby, just for flavor. You can use this for ramen, you can use it for avocado toast, but it's a very simple way to cook an egg. And if you follow these steps, it's almost foolproof. Like, it's very hard to make a mistake here. Um, so you don't want it to necessarily stick, like, stand still too much. So you may have to occasionally give it a little bit of velocity adjust its heat a little bit. You don't want it sticking to the bottom. It's supposed to just be sort of boiling at this point. I hope this uh, demystifies a lot of what cooking fancy sounding eggs are all about, it's okay to touch this. It, the, you'll eventually get used to it. Actually, this is probably good enough. Um, the uh, One final note is even after you've removed it from the water, it will still keep cooking a little bit. It The in, temperature inside it will keep cooking it. So you don't necessarily want it all the way done by the time you remove it from its water. So that's why you can just let it stand by. And that is how to poach an egg. Thank you very much.